name is Haley Hobson. I'm a double presidential diamond with doTERRA living in Boulder, Colorado. And I wanted to talk about the expectations that you have for yourself and your business and what it really means to continue to grow and up-level yourself. I often hear leaders in high ranked positions complaining that their teams are stagnant or that their teams aren't working or that they just can't hit that next rank and they're waiting for a leg to pop or they're waiting for a certain builder to do something. And I really truly believe from the bottom of my heart that the more you exemplify to your leaders, the more they're gonna do. The more you up-level yourself, the higher level of a leader that you're gonna attract. And so if you've been cruising through your business and you're stuck and you're stagnant and you consider yourself maybe a level five, a level six, a level seven in this business or in life, you need to become a level eight, you need to become a level nine, you need to become a level 10 or plus, and that's the kind of energy you're, you're going to attract. So who are you? Are you a person that just tags your leaders on Facebook? Or are you a person who just texts people and doesn't get on calls? Are you a person that really invests the time and the support and the love in your leaders? Are you a person that shows up at the events that your upline is hosting? Are you partnering with your upline at those events? Are you partnering in incentives that you're reaching out to your team with, with your cross lines and with your mentors? What kind of tribe or culture do you want your team to have? And if you want your team to have that, you need to model that to your team. And I call all of that up leveling ourselves. The types of skills that I felt like I had to up level myself were communication, becoming a better listener, not being such a hot, stubborn head, <laughs> calming myself down before I spoke to people, doing more and more personal development and not getting discouraged and seeing the glass half empty, but looking at rather as ha being half or more full and deciding that if I wanted to see a difference, I was going to make a difference and I wasn't going to sit around and wait for it to happen to me. I wasn't going to sit around and wait for somebody else to do it, to get me to where I wanted to be in my business. I was going to get out there and continue to be better myself, better than I was the day before and to attract better energy into my business. And what I mean by that is I never stop enrolling. I never stop bringing fresh blood into my organization. Legs get stagnant when there's no growth. And who better to bring growth into your organization and to model that kind of behavior than you? So I encourage you to think about the ways that you can up-level yourself. Because if you're a five or a six or a seven, you will only attract people at that level or below which means they will only attract people at that level or below, which means you get a better get out there and become a 10 so that you can attract 10s and you can model the exact kind of behavior that you want your team doing. And that is when this business becomes fun and that is when you become exceptional.